Hi guys, Jason Smith here. Welcome to the Ask Golf Nut channel. So today we're going to do the Ping G430 hybrid review. New for 2023 and um, has it changed much when it comes to uh, the looks? Yes, uh, we have a little bit of Cobra in there. Now originally when I first thought of them using these colour schemes, considering they've gone from G425 which was black and slate grey, I thought well that's a bit bold from Ping. I'll tell you what, now I've got it in my hands and I've been playing with the woods and stuff like that, I, I must say that this has grown on me. But they have got carbon wrap around now. So in the hybrids, in the fairy woods and the LS Tech driver, you have this carbon wrap around when it comes to the head. Uh, it reduces weight basically, so they can distribute it in other places. Um, when it comes to the face, they've got a new face on it to try and make it a little bit faster. And also they've changed the um, roll on the actual uh, golf club as well to try and make low shots, especially. Slightly lower spinning and slightly faster off the face to try and gain a bit of extra distance. That's the whole idea. They've still got the same tuning trajectory tuner, uh, loss leaf effectively, which will go one degree, one half degrees, one degree, one half degrees either way, and some flat settings on there as well. I have it in the four, which is 22 degrees, and I haven't changed the loft or anything. So I'm expecting this to go around about sort of the 215 kind of mark. Now the problem you've got with a ping or any manufacturer when it comes to a hybrid, unless you make loads and loads of hybrid heads, Look at a driver, just in pings alone. You've got a Max, you've got an SF Tech, you've got an LS Tech, go to the Fairway Woods, you've got a Max, you've got an SF Tech, you've got an LS Tech. Now, you've got different head shapes, different head designs for different golfers. This is a hybrid. Now, unless a company like Ping are gonna make many different heads of hybrids, it is sometimes very difficult to cater to everybody because players like to see a certain shape of head and a certain type of head where, uh, should we say higher handicappers or, or golfers which hit and use a bit more of the face than they should are looking for forgiveness. Now that's not always possible for out of one head. So you kind of have to go with one idea and that's it. Now Ping have tried as best they can do to go for the forgiveness idea by the looks of this because the head size isn't small. I mean, it's, it's, not, it's not massive, but it's not small. But I do like how they've got that carbon wrap around on there. They're down by the golf ball, the look. I've hit this a few times now and I'm really getting used to the, the, the black, the carbon look, the yellow and white, the nice white uh, grooves lines on. I, I really do like it. Right, so let's go put it on a hole because um, it's always a bit more fun to have it try and hit a green. Uh, this is a four hybrid, so I'm gonna have to try and find a green which is quite a far distance out there, so that'll be fun. Let's try and go find a hole with some water as well to see if I can stick it in the drink. So let's go change data sets and let's go see how this thing performs. Data set now change, we have it on the farms, hole 16. As you can see, it's 219 yards over water and on the left-hand side of the green is water. And on the right hand side there is a steep rough and bunker slope which is uh, yeah that's a lot of fun because this is not an easy hole but do you know what why not let's be a bit of fun so g425 is gone g430 is now in and the new looks of the yellow silver and black are in and do you know what I, I like them i do the more i use the new g430 range the more i'm getting used to the color scheme it's actually quite a sporty look when it comes to hybrid because you've got that one little dot on top of the uh, of the crown, that little kind of line up, that's the middle. Hit me from here, please. And then you can see the carbon fiber on it. And it'd be interesting to see how this thing feels now you've got the uh, carbon. That was slightly toey, but I tell you what, that is working well. Yeah, it is working well. I'm slightly toey, I could feel it. Now the good thing with this is, how toey was that? 10 toe, yes, you could feel it. Um, that is mighty impressive. So slight miss hit, slight face open, but you can see it's geared with a little bit of draw because of the toe strike. Um, 37, 38 yards in the air, 46 degrees descent angle, 217 from a slight miss hit. That's not bad at all. 139 ball, yeah, 139 ball. And the feel, it's definitely carbon. You can definitely feel the carbon this now. That's more left. That's a brave, brave line. <laughs> oh, look at the carry on that. Wow. Look at the carry on that. What's that? Five mil low, one mil toe. Good face. Slightly into out path, 
But as how interesting is that? So that's trying to draw. Now, a lot of hybrids, a lot of players say they don't like hybrids because of the fact that obviously they hook too much and stuff like this. But because you've got that offset camber on the loft sleeve, you can move the loft around and potentially change the flight. So you're not absolutely concreted in just doing one thing with a hybrid. You can move different lofts around and different numbers around to get the desired flight you want. I don't mind seeing that, being honest, I don't. That is a miss. I could tell the moment I hit it, that is a miss. Go on, bounce left, bounce left. Not in the, well, I'd rather be in the bunker than the rough. <laughs> so that's me delivering the face massively open. There you go, 3.2 open. That's my fault. That's nothing to do with the golf clubs. When you deliver the face free open. Good path, I was just late on the uh, release, that's all. But good, I mean, it's got 207 and that's slightly miss hit and an open face, which is not the most efficient. <laughs> It does feel really nice. The inclusion of that carbon makes a huge difference to the sound this thing makes. That was slightly low toe. That's working ever so well. 143 ball speed. Yeah, eight mil, uh, eight mil toe, nine low, so that was not middle. And that's done very well. So obviously remember, we've got this carbon weave on top that has released a certain amount of weight that they can redistribute to make it a little bit more forgiving. And there you go, and that's the reason why I play hybrids over long irons. It's because you cannot get away with the same thing on a long iron that you can do with a hybrid. Right, let's go see if I can hit it high. It's for a bit of fun. Let's see how high I can hit it into this green. This is probably a daft idea. Oh, is it, it's leaking. It's leaking, go on, bounce left, bounce left. Thank, oh, I wouldn't say thank you yet. Is it coming up the green? That's puttable. Um, so that's a shot that I would normally hit. I'd normally hit in high, high shots to see how high they go, obviously get them to stop. Um, 46 yards in the air and 50 degrees to center angle at 215. That is why you have hybrids. You are not gonna get that with a long iron. Not unless you've got a boatload of speed to be able to launch that long iron up in the air. So um, yeah, very, very good change for uh, ping when it comes to the 430. The biggest thing for me is by everything, it's the noise, it's the sound, it's the feel of it. I like the looks, I actually prefer the looks now of having that carbon weave on top and that funky Cobra sporty like, I know it's not Cobra, but I mean, it looks very, I mean, everyone's been saying about the same thing when it comes to ping releasing their color scheme for this year. Doesn't that look like a Cobra? <laughs> from years ago, um, but it's, it's good, I like it. Right, let's go give this a bunch of time to hit all around the face to see how it works. I mean, there's a couple of times there I've hit it slightly off and you can see what it does, but generally speaking, this is gonna be, the G range is gonna be for handicap golfers which use a lot more of the face. So let's go give it a whack around it to see how well it performs off miss hits, how straight it keeps and uh, it stays, and then also the ball speed drop off that happens when you don't quite catch the middle. Let's go see how this G430 got on when I hit it a load of times. This is a very interesting hybrid, um, possibly one of my favorite hybrids from Ping ever. Just the balance of looks, feel, and general performance. Yeah, I think they have nailed it on this one. But let's go have a look at the ball data. So I've basically done uh, a data set at a slightly slower speed than I would normally when it comes to my normal speed. My normal speed for a four hybrid give or takes around about 100 miles an hour, 100 to 102 miles an hour, depending on how flexible I'm feeling as I get older. Um, so I've done this one at 95 miles an hour, but I have also captured some information when it comes to my normal speed to see, yeah, for, uh, we've got different miss hits and because we're gonna test forgiveness and how it performs when you don't quite catch the middle. Um, in a second, we'll just go have a look at the averages now. So on average, ball speed for the G4 434 hybrid is 136 miles an hour, 14.1 degrees of launch, 4,182 RPM of spec speed, 4,200. Um, it's going up 34 yards in the air and it's ending at 44.1 degrees. So remember, this is my slower speed, 95 miles an hour, and that's still descending at 44.1 degrees. So within reason, 45 degrees is my magic number for a golf club to go into a green because at 45 degrees, that's gonna stop. So 44.1 at 210 yards carry, basically, 209. Um, that's doing exceptionally well. And this is a slower speed, remember. So clubhead speed, yes, 95 miles an hour. Efficiency, 1.43. Now remember, 1.43 is what I would say that um, 
is a mediocre driver. So that's doing very, very well. 2.5 degrees angle of attack down, 0.5 across, 0.8 open. My club delivery slightly baby fady. And then 19.1 uh, degrees of loft and two mil toe, five mil low. And so because of slight delivery uh, being fady, and then also my uh, slightly low on the face, that's aiding it too. I mean, it's finishing seven yards on average offline. I mean, that's, yeah. Um, if you look at the uh, geographical, geographical, the graphical, sorry, uh, representation of what I've just been saying, some people prefer it in graphical representation because people learn differently and understand differently so that's why not everyone can understand the tabular stuff so by putting it up on the screen there you can see strike point you can see flights you can see offline from flights and you can see club deliveries and stuff like that um, i have standard deviation numbers on there as well for the very very picky people that want to have a look at that again standard deviation is important but it's more important when you're comparing two golf clubs especially if you're going to do a comparison between two different golf clubs which one's better which one's not or whatever it be standard the deviation is important when you're doing a test it's going to be off because i'm also testing miss hits as well so let's go look at these miss hits to see just how good or bad they are and we start off a absolute screamer now 100.9 club head speed and that's a ball speed of 146.5 an efficiency of 1.45 which is very very good uh, 1.1 from the inside and 0 0.2 close so a baby baby draw um dynamic 20 mil low six mil toe is my strike look at that strike now that has meant that unfortunately has compromised launch angle yes it has of course 20 mil low is not far off saying that that is a pure on top it didn't it still launched nearly six degrees and spun at three five but remember ping have changed the radial curve of this new uh, g430 face to deliver a little bit less loft at the bottom thin shots but to produce a little bit less spin but punch the golf ball and increase the ball speed and that's carried 220 yards now that is obviously at a slightly faster speed my 101 miles an hour which is my normal speed um but that is doing really well i mean 220 yards launching like that that is a stinger if you're playing a parking golf course and a parking golf course in the summer and you've got burnt fairways that is a shot that i'd be wanting to play all the time i mean that's 0, 0.0 yards offline so fairly straight and yeah i mean that is just going to be running forever what's it going to be like going into a green mm, okay 20 mil low when you're hitting kind of 20 mil low you're, you're you're more than happy the fact it's gone anywhere near target you're more than happy you can find it when you've hit it that poorly so it's done exceptionally well um 96.9 miles an hour club head speed path of 0, 0.0 face of 0, 0.5 six mil low eight mil heel now generally speaking i hate hitting golf clubs off the heel because it doesn't feel nice ever and hardly any golf club i've ever tested has done miraculous out of low heel strikes now this is not very low heel strikes um, as strikes go but you can still feel it it's done uh, 208 yards in carry from a slightly slower swing so it's actually done pretty well considering um and it's 2.9 yards offline so with even though the fact obviously that face is 0 0.5 closed um, to target because my path is 0, 0.0 with that low heel strike the face is because of roll and bulge it's looking a bit more left so it's starting 2.6 degrees left and then cutting back so it's doing its job um it just doesn't feel very nice when you hit it off the heel <laughs> Next one, 91.4 miles an hour. So the speed is really coming off now. 0.1 path across, 0.0. That was so close to a 0 0.0, 0 0.0. Um, two mil low, 17 mil toes. So we're going and hitting the toes at this time. So I have delivered it perfectly uh, within 0 0.0, yeah, 0 0.1, yeah, you know what I mean, 0.1 of a degree. And it's finished 7.4 yards left. Um, from a 17 mil toe. So you'll forgive Ping for not quite getting the roll and bulge and gear effect right. Um, when you hit it 17 mil toe, it's finished seven yards offline at 223. At 91 miles an hour, that is done exceptionally well at such a slow speed and for such a poor hit. Again, if you're gonna hit it that bad, you're, you're happy that you found it, let alone the fact that that's left edge of green. Um, 
well, depending where the pin is, that could be in the middle of green. You kind of get the idea. Anyway, 94.6 miles an hour, so nice and slow again. 0.0 path, 1.4 close. So again, that's me saying to the golf ball go a little bit left. 0 mil low, 14 mil toe. The interesting thing on this, is it missing 13 yards left? Of course it is. Um, but it's going 217 carry, 229 total from a 94.6 miles an hour swing speed. It's doing really, really well. Um, my only thing, so obviously I delivered the face 1.4 degrees closed. So a certain portion of that 13 yards offline is because of my delivery of the face slightly closed and to want it to go slightly left. Um, I'm not quite sure how much of the 13.3 yards of leftness uh, was down to the gearing of the golf ball and how much was 1.4 degrees closed. Um, let's call it 50-50. Uh, the ping's done very, very well. Um, I've got to take some responsibility for that one going left because I did deliver the face slightly closed, but considering it's done very, very well. Um, we've got last one here, 100.1 uh, 100 miles an hour um, swing speed, 0.2 from the inside, 0.0 on the face. Um, catch that strike, 15 mil low, 2 mil toe. Um, it's launching at 9.1 degrees and it's spinning at 4.5. Uh, right, it's going 216 yards, carry 225 total. However, in your, if this is going into any form of fairway, uh, in the summertime, that kind of shot there is going to be running for Britain or running for wherever you are in the world. Um, it is going to be going and going and going and going. Now, how is this going to react? Because, I mean, okay, 15 mil low is a really, really low point on the face. And I would stress to people, please do not hit it there, really. Um, it's finished 3.7 yards offline, so the amount of gear and all everything is, do is doing a perfectly good job for that. It really, really is. Um, my fear is though with the um, slight reduction of the radius of the curvature when it comes to um, the new hybrid face off low strikes is the fact it will go in lower, it will have less spin as a general rule, yes, it will have more ball speed as a general I mean this is 144 miles an hour uh, ball speed from that strike is really impressive as in just as impressive near enough when you hit out the middle. Um, but. I, if you're going to go into a green, I would have serious concerns about how much that's going to disappear out the back, possibly. And okay, 15 mil or 20 mil, those kind of shots low on the face are a clear mistake from the golfer. That is nothing to do with ping, really. Ping obviously trying to make it as forgiving as they possibly can do for when you do hit those weird and wonderful effective tops. Um, it's just incredible. Oh, it'd be interesting to see if they could do it with the, the driver and how it would work going forward properly with the driver. Um, it's just if they could get that spin rate down, I'm not quite sure how it would work with the driver's dynamics, but be interesting anyway. Um, conclusion, really, the 430, the new G430 from Ping when it comes to the hybrid, is possibly their best feeling hybrid ever. Um, the inclusion of that carbon composite wrap around, yeah, that kind of crown, makes the golf club feel, I wouldn't say soft, it's not soft, it's a hybrid, but it's much, much more in line with other manufacturers that have gone with carbon uh, construction. And generally speaking, in the past, Ping have never shied away from making loud equipment. I mean, it's a running, not say running joke, but generally speaking, when you're on golf courses and you, some, you hear someone hear a a certain type of driver you're guessing straight away they're using a ping because yeah years ago pings make a heck of a noise and so the new generation of ping with their sound ribbing changes and carbon fly wraparounds and all this lot they are trying to use obviously the distributed weight that they can now have because they're moving from titanium backs and stuff like that using uh, carbon to reduce weight they can move it to make it more forgiven but they also with that carbon can make it sound so much nicer now again when you use the words nicer that does that's a subjective thing and some people like the loud noise other people don't like the loud noise so again horse for courses but i like the looks i like the new yellow and silver uh, color scheme with a bit of black and all that like i like the new looks I, I was a bit dubious to start with but now seeing them all um sporty it's it's sleek it's look i like it, it really um i wouldn't say it's like down with the kids but 
it is for ping is a really, really bold statement and I personally like it. So if you don't, obviously comment below. <laughs> I mean, this is new for them anyway, especially going from the 425, which was it's like kind of slate gray and black and completely non-offensive to anyone. Um, anyway, so while you're down there and you comment in down there, right, there's a little like button, click that one, go on, do it. YouTube likes it, so do I. Next to that is a little red button, subscribe button, go on, click that one. That will do the channel no end of good. And next to it is a little bell icon. That's a little notification bell. And that, by clicking that, will let you know next time I upload another video. So I hope you're well, and we'll see you again soon.